what I'm freaking talking about. Hey, what's up guys? Hunter Sales here. Just pulled up to the James River after a long night and day of driving. Um, had a kayak tournament yesterday down on Watts Bar. Carson Newman got the win, so that was awesome. Um, but we're up here at the James trying to figure it out. Uh, apparently this river does some weird stuff with the, the current switching directions. I don't know, it said something about tides. I don't think we can really tie in bass fishing, but that's the word on the street. Um, so gonna get out here and see, see what kind of weird sorcery we got up here in Richmond, Virginia, but we'll keep you on tune. So I'll talk a little bit about what my mindset was going into practice here. You know, I was trying to explore. I wanted to find something close to Richmond. I knew the tide was going to be better. Uh, there was going to be a low tide the first day of the tournament uh, at a time where you could actually fish the low tide up around takeoff. Whereas if you went to Chickahominy, uh, you were pretty much going to miss that low tide just the way the uh, the tide charts worked out. Um, so I tried to stay near Richmond the first day right here uh, back in the barge pits. And, I, you know, I catch a pretty good one on a, on a square bill. Uh, caught one other one on a square bill on the main river that day. I uh, checked out a bunch of different areas, but it just didn't set up the way I like to fish. You know, there was um, there was definitely a science to it of tidal fishing, and I wasn't very comfortable trying to, to learn that in one week. Um, so after this first day, you know, I pretty much abandoned that uh, and went up towards the Chickahominy. I included some stuff right here. Uh, one of the coolest parts of the James River to me was this barge pit, uh, you know, a place where they just, all the sunken barges. Um, you know, I guess they're super, super old. They're kind of in this pit, and right here, you know, you can kind of see uh, this opening between two really, really old barges. And to me, that was just really, really awesome. But the rest of the day after that, you know, I pretty much spent the whole day just running around areas, putting the troll motor down, trying to figure something new out. Um, didn't really happen. So after this first day, I really concentrate my efforts in the Chickahominy River, uh, which is where we were staying, also. So that made that nice and convenient. So I lost all of the footage from the first day of official practice. My SD card was full after Cherokee. I didn't have it cleared off. Uh, I fished pretty much all the cypress trees on the lower half of the east side of the Chickahominy River and had a really good day. So you guys will see uh, the second day of official practice coming up. Yo, what's up guys? Second day of practice here on the James River. Uh, it's Tuesday morning, warm morning. I don't know, I don't really know what temperature it got to last night, um, but I know that everything in the whole world bloomed apparently pollen everywhere it's warm this morning 65 degrees i'm pretty hot just sitting here in this jacket uh, water temperature yesterday got up to the mid 60s by the end of the day uh, on my lorances and so you know it's about to happen this place is going to bust wide open i probably had 12 and a half pounds yesterday got some decent footage i uh, lost some of it my sd card got full i haven't had a chance to edit cherokee's video yet um but you know, I think it's gonna happen. I think every fish I caught yesterday was probably a male. Uh, just flipping cypress trees, um, catching a decent amount of fish, probably caught 10 yesterday. I'm not really seeing the size that I want. I'm gonna change it up today, go up the river, and and just see, you know, see if that changes things. So, uh, y'all stay tuned. We're gonna go out here and have fun, catch as many as we can catch. I'm gonna stick every single one of them because I don't know anything about tidal fishing. And every time I set the hook, I feel more confident, so. Um, it should be a fun tournament. Stay tuned. Yeah, baby, I know they 12 inches. That's what I'm talking about. Hell, if I got that one, might be 13. 
that one might be 13. Cole said every single one he's caught has been red-eyed and peeing. I haven't caught one that was red-eyed and peeing yet. I can assure you this one is not peeing. I'm squeezing him and he's not peeing. All right, guys, here we go. Um, really, it's been a great day on the water. You know, that fish right there, every bit of 1.11 pounds. You see that right there? Z man, cross eyes, crossed his eyes. If I catch five like that on the tournament day, baby, we're gonna be in good shape. See how healthy he is? It's a real good one there. We got the set up here, the river's rest. My boy Cole, my boy Spencer. Ooh, what we got? Who's gonna win? Me. How about Spencer? This has been quite the setup though. Got the river, the blue heron, nightly meals. Practice is over, okay? So practice is over. It's been kind of tough. Uh, not really, catching like 20 a day, but they're not, they're not good ones. It's kind of tough to find a good one. Uh, Cole and Spencer, though, different story. You know, obviously, them guys are freaking good fishermen. I've just been doing the best I can. Spencer, we're gonna do our favorite section. The viewers love this. Weight predictions, okay, for tomorrow, uh, for the field and for you and Cole and myself. I'm gonna say that I have 13.8. Okay. I'm gonna say you have. 12 and a half. Okay, well. I'm gonna say Cole has 15.2. Ooh, big bag of the day. What's the top 10 weights? I'm gonna go with 10th place coming in at 32.8. Okay. After day one? No, no, that's, that's too <laughs> No, 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 two days. Cole, let's hear it, man. We know you. You're, this is your forte. Uh, word What's on the, the street. Word, the chick. Yeah, we're on the chick here. Uh, he guides here, actually. Um, um, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say it's gonna take probably 18 a day to win. If you can be consistent out here, it seems like consistency is gonna be hard. Um, I don't know, after two days, probably 32, 33 pounds would be top 10. Uh, my goal is, you know, probably 15, 16 pounds a day just to be consistent. Uh, I think tomorrow, Hunter's gonna surprise us a little bit, coming with like 16 and a half. Uh huh, heard that. I think Spencer's gonna have 14 or 15, somewhere in there. And uh, I think we're gonna have 17.4. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think we're gonna have a good day tomorrow. We've got nasty weather. I'm catching them on some moving stuff, so. Gonna get after it. We're gonna be moving a lot. Um, as a group, we're all fishing pretty similar stuff. We're all in a pretty similar stretch here. Muffin <laughs> gang. We're sharing the same three shot restraints. We're all sharing, you know, everything we got. So it's just really a matter of who here is the better fisherman. Uh, this, <laughs> so far this week, it's been those two. Um, I'm just messing. It'll be fun. They're biting. We'll see what happens. Uh, gonna, you're gonna throw a swim jig around, gonna throw a chatterbait around, gonna throw a friggin' uh, little fiddler crab imitator around. Uh, we got on a pretty cool deal, a little, little, little crab spawn going on. So if we can capitalize on the crab spawn early, get a limit, uh, and then go from there and, and try to catch us a big old, big old chick bass, we should be all right. So we'll see what happens. And so that's it from practice. You know, I had another day. I went up the river and bebopped around. I didn't really find anything worth sharing with you guys. Um, so I'm going into the tournament, uh, just hoping that the full moon and the warming conditions set up the way I think it will, and hoping my fish grow a little bit. 25, 100 cells. 
Got your hunter just right. Got that boat straight in front of you. Ready one, chance one. 45. 11 pounds maybe. Got a limit. Got probably 11 pounds maybe. Got to stay after it.
hard call. Good luck. Nope. I thought that was a freaking big fish on a tree. You got the pattern, that's for sure. I hate fishing shallow. You hate deep water? Oh. He was on there. luck tomorrow. Hunter Sales out of Tennessee, Carson Newman University coach. Came through the college series. Hunter, we have a good day? Yeah, it was good. Probably caught 40. I uh, don't have a don't have a true big one, but had a great day on the water. 15 pounds and an ounce. Going to jump Hunter all the way up to fourth place. Let's hold those up. So a great start. And Hunter uh, on the angler side, also as a college university fishing coach, so a pretty cool gig for him. And he's in fourth place. Nice job. Good luck tomorrow. Joey DeLuke rode with Hunter. Big 
big old mother. Yo, what's up guys? Day two, fog delay. Um, didn't get to film a recap yesterday. Lost my GoPro uh, battery on the way back yesterday. Had some super rough water. Um, biggest I've ever seen. You know, it may not be that big to some of these northern guys. It was the biggest I've ever seen. Uh, broke the stabilizer bar on my trolling motor. Stayed up late last night getting everything squared away. Huge shout out to Richmond Marine Center. I uh, got me back up and running. Had a good day yesterday. Had 15-1. Um, caught a bunch of fish. Most fun day of fishing I've ever had. Probably caught 50. Uh, catching them all doing something I like but um, today's gonna be fun too. You know, we're gonna go catch a bunch. I had two four pounders yesterday. I really need those bites again. Uh, if I'm gonna make a run up, I think 17 pounds will probably get me to where I need to be. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed yesterday's footage. I don't know if today's is gonna be any good. Kind of running out of room on my SD card. It's been uh, um, a long week. So I'm trying to keep everything together for you guys, but stay tuned, see what happens. My boy Cole over my shoulder, Muffin Gang right behind me. We're all gonna have some big old muffins today, all right? Where are you, Danny? Thank you guys. That's good. You too. Go ahead, Daddy. Wave your hat so I know where you are. Go catch some fish, Thank you. I need, need some luck. You got it. Stay in prayer. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. 201, 520. I like it, big boy. Thank y'all. Go have a good day. I'm going to try my best, sir. Hey, Daddy. Do what? Better one, baby. Yes, sir. Number number four. <laughs> That's what I'm freaking talking about. I need five that size today. Yes, sir. It's a freaking four pounder all day long. Yes, sir. Yes, freaking sir. All right, guys. Been here about five minutes. Yeah, maybe ten. I got a limit, including a four pounder already, and one probably two and a half off of the same duck blind that I had all my weight on yesterday. Caught two fours off this yesterday. So that's two days, that's three four pounders. I caught on this one freaking duck blind. It's got four or five cypress trees grouped around it. It's a mouth of a place. They're staging on it before they go back and spawn, I think. Uh, I'm sure there's a few spawners here, but I think it's a really a transition area. It's been freaking special this week. If we can get a couple more like that. Sitting in real good shape. That's a coal. A good one. Six fish. Two and a quarter, maybe. This right here happened a lot that week. You know, 
I know I was fishing for bed fish, uh, judging by things like this. You know, you'd flip in there and miss a fish multiple times and then still be able to flip back in there and catch it. Uh, definitely some bedding fish going on this week for sure. Got to take a second to highlight this right here too. There were barnacles all over the wood uh, up in the Chickahominy, especially at the mouth of it. Um, and I was using 20 pound Seaguar Tatsu here. And if you can watch, this fish was around every single post on the duck blind. And that just, it was awesome all week. I never broke one off and that was, that was huge. Freaking talking about. Woo. See a freaking mag draft, Gonzo. There it is. Hmm. All right, guys. So here's the deal. Uh, we got what I think might be 18 pounds. Uh, I really think I need one more to make the cut and fish tomorrow. Um, I, I'm gonna leave a little early. I can't. I don't want to be late. I don't want to get stuck. I got a good enough bag. I got a chance. Uh, so we're gonna make the, the long run back up towards Osborne. Uh, try to catch another kicker up there. We got about an hour and 20 minutes until check-in um so we're gonna see what we can do see you guys two day total hunter sales 15 pounds in an ounce yesterday come on up 
former college angler, college coach. Looks like another good day, Hunter. Yeah, man, it was a great day. I got a lot of thank yous I need to give, too. Let's get a weight, though, first. 17 pounds and 14 ounces. We got to hold those up all the way up to 11th place. Just on the outside looking in, but still going to be a great finish for Hunter Sales. It could be worth... Oh, no, you're on the butter side. That's not the co-angler side. It could be worth some dollars. 11th spot. There you go, 17-14 for Hunter Sales out of Tennessee. You say you want to thank some folks too, Hunter? Come on over. Go ahead. Yeah, so I had some uh, mechanical issues yesterday, and the guys up at Richmond Marine stayed way after, took care of me. I want to give a huge thank you to them. Couldn't have went fishing without them. I uh, ran the nitro all over the place, had a lot of fun. Looking forward to getting to the college series next week at Norfolk with the Carson Newman team. And then back to Ross Barnett. Yeah, life in a hotel, you know. That's how, it is. That's how a college coach slash angler slash whatever else you do has to live on the road. Good job, though. 11th place, you're going to get a good finish. What's up, guys? Weighed in 17-14, ended up in 12th place, three ounces outside the cut, beating myself up a little bit. Uh, I wish I'd have stayed and fished a little bit longer instead of running back uh, quite as soon, but made it back safe, had plenty of time, um, tried to fish around the ramp and catch a big one, just never did. Um, 12th place finish, great start to Northern Opens. I uh, really fired up for Ross Barnett in a couple weeks. Um, we'll go into detail on it a little bit later, but just real briefly, caught pretty much every single one of my fish this week on a ducket. 7.6 heavy uh, with a Shimano reel, flipping 20 pound Tatsu, uh, flipping cypress trees and stuff like that, uh, at the mouths of some spawning pockets and stuff like that. Flipped a few different baits, flipped a um, uh, speed craw style bait and then, a, and then a beaver style, you know, rage bug or something like that. Um, it didn't really seem to matter if you put it on their heads, they seemed to bite. Had a few females move up today. I wish I could have went tomorrow. I really think I could have done some damage. Um, but 12th place, you know, really happy with it. I think that the key was, you know, finding an area where, you know, they would move into and out of and, and kind of a pass through area for them going to spawn with the tides. And, you know, I still don't completely understand how the tides make them set up. But I know that the current being hidden, hidden these areas at the mouths of some stuff was a big deal for me. So um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you like it. Give me some comments. If I suck at this, you need to tell me. So catch you guys soon. Thanks everybody for watching the video, keeping up with me and all the support. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, leave me some comments on what I can do better. I really want to grow this channel. Uh, God really blessed me this week and looking forward to doing it again.